hello everyone welcome back welcome back so this is going to be for scorpios hi scorpios you're going to dive into your no contact read and see what we have for you so if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the black tea okay but if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have your playlist link below in the description box if you want to book with me all that information is also in this description box as well all right um if you guys want to book classes um i do have a slots open for the month of april so this will be closed next week i just want to let you guys know that as well so jump on it if that's something that you want to do my information for my deck will also be hopefully in the description box or you can just email me at the scene tarot at gmail.com you guys um and i'll give you the information all right so let's just see here holy spirit holy angels holy father holy guides protect me as i get into scorpio's energy no contact the person that scorpio is thinking about the person that's thinking about scorpio remove anything that is of the negative and replace it with light scorpio. thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father thank you angel guys for being here as well Ooh, what is this Ooh, look at that angel number 1111 scorpios that are coming through so you did feel like this was something that was amazing within this read right here for this person you felt like this was someone that you know could have been your twin flame or your soulmate connection you felt like you um felt like you were receiving signs or this was a part of a wish that you have placed that you was it was finally happening it was finally coming true tell me more I'm seeing that you've been pushed away. This is what I'm seeing here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sag that you were dealing with, or a Libra. Okay. I'm seeing Libra or Aries. Judgment. Particularly Aries. On the back, you do have fire elements. Look at this. Divine is called divine of fire, ace. So this is a lot of fire energy here. There is a lot of movement within the future energy. This is what I'm seeing like something is coming to light. Not only that, but there's something that's going to be solved here within these like this wand energy. Okay. Like no matter what someone is trying to do, it's going to be solved. There's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of flame here. There's a lot of determination here. Okay? Angel Raphael is also showing up. Is it Raphael? No, Gabrielle. I'm sorry. Gabrielle is showing up here tell you to keep moving forward so there's a message there for you also tell me more about this holy spirit had to pause the video for a moment but we are back so tell me more holy spirit tell me more the scorpion's energy you have the tower in reverse Talk about Aries and Scorpio. The tower energy. So there is a control or a masculine energy here in reverse. This person wants to rebuild. So obviously the no contact energy is coming through you guys. Like there is no connection here. No communication that are being interacted here. Like there's something needs to be brought back. Page of Wands. Look at that being pushed away confirmed i mean i said that didn't i because i saw the divine the your divine hears you divine seeks you out like it's it's being called like you're being called back to source to heal you're being called back to source to deal with something here um to to be balanced again i feel like this relationship really caused you a lot and you're being called back here like the divine energy is calling back calling you back 
So I felt like, oh, wow, you're being pushed away for this to be activated. And here comes a hermit. Definitely being pushed away here. And I feel like, you know what? You are backing away from this. You're allowing this to happen. And this is what you're coming up with. You're seeing like this. This is, has like... I'm just feeling like you're seeing this as a saving grace because you're looking at this as a new perspective. <laughs> you're looking at this situation as a new perspective. You're not holding back or being bitter about this. You're seeing this like an ending that have happened, but you just feel within your heart this is not yet over, but you don't have the energy within you right now. It's kind of like deal with this the situation i feel like the holy spirit is also calling you back a lot of you is just like feeling really down and angel gabrielle is here to get like keep you moving like you need to get moving like the divine is calling you you need to keep moving <laughs> great it's like there is no time for you to sit down and feel sorry for yourself like you have a purpose here it's all a purpose I'm also seeing the nine of wands here in reverse. You have the page of cups. You also have the eight of swords. You have the seven of cups. So there's a lot of choices here. You also have the emperor, Aries energy, and the king of wands. Talk about a lot of fire, huh? Talk about a lot of fire. So I'm seeing Aries here. I'm seeing like determination and success, force of energy. Wow. This is being placed within you. This could be about love too, coming back into your life with this person's energy. Something about this person is like has deep love for you and respect with these red roses. Okay, 12 bouquet of roses. This person have appreciation, a lot of romantic feelings for you, and a lot of passion. We're being brought back to passion, y'all. Honestly, look at this flame. This is about passion. This is about passion. You have way too much passion here. Way too much passion. And then you have that too within the tarot decks. Like, confirming everything. Passion on top of passion. The need to be successful. I'm just getting that need to be successful. This person doesn't want to fail. Like I'm not getting like somebody wants to fail here. This person wants to come back and rebuild. But I feel like you have a lot of work to do. You gotta get your vibration back up. The Eight of Swords is in reverse. There's a lot of healing that's being done, a lot of forgiveness, not a lot of holding on to this transitions anymore. Like you're not doing that. You know, I do see some egoistic energy where they, you need an apology, and this person is like very like childish and giving that to you. Um I'm also seeing a lot of choices. Like, they know that you have a lot of choices here. I'm also seeing the chariot in reverse. So, this person is confused on which direction they want to take. This person seems to be in a relationship that is in and out, you guys. But something happened here where this is just not worked out, but they're still confused. The five of cups in reverse. This is someone that you moved on from. Okay. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the World as well. <laughs> There's a completion here. Also, the Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like, you know, this person is trying their best. Something about this person. They're saying to be patient because they're trying their best here. They want to give you some kind of offer. But this is going to take time. This is all about time here. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords in reverse. I don't see like you're going to be blaming yourself for this outcome forever. You know, like you're not. You have the eight of, 
You have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords here, the Nine of Wands here. It's like you're letting go from all of this experience. You're getting back your self-confidence here. You have the Five of Pentacles that you have to work through as well. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. You also have the Six of Pentacles right next to it. So clearly there is going to be a balance. Clearly you're going to figure out your your situation you're going to try to make it work for you you're going to be successful like you're on the path of success tell me more holy spirit so yeah you're going to have a choice you know this is going to be short-lived within the sun to a wands energy it's like you're getting some kind of choice or some kind of gift from the universe to kind of better your situation you're at a crossroads tell me more about the six Tell me more. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the balance is ooh, fulfillment, happiness, and leaving just a legacy. So this is going to be something that you can always go back on. Um, it's almost like an inheritance, like something like an inheritance here that you're going to receive in. Like finally, some kind of freedom when it comes to financial matters, right? This is what I'm seeing here. Money is looking up. I'm seeing like you're getting some kind of call as well. Hmm, yeah, the two of cups here. You have the two of swords, two of cups. You have the page of swords. You have the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing conversation within the midst of the situation. I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords. So there's a lot of forgiveness here moving forward. The Four of Cups. You have the Five of Wands in reverse. This person wants to resolve this Five right here. This Five of Wands. So whatever they made you feel very low or they made you feel like you were nothing or there was a lot of competition here there was a lot of other people you also have the five of cups in reverse and that is just like a decision of moving forward here realizing that there's a lot of emotional loss but within that situation i'm seeing like that's going to be resolved as well all right so the two of cups in reverse this is how you guys are showing up like you know two peers just not getting along having a lot of unbalanced moment within your situation but i'm also seeing that there's mutual feelings here still you also have three nines if i'm not mistaken the nine of wands nine of swords nine of cups you have the ten of pentacles so this the, oh what yeah you know, this is the eight of pentacles okay so you have all nines in reverse here so this person wasted your time you gave this person a lot of your time and now this person wants you to wait and be patient even more you know this is what i'm seeing here like i'm just getting a vibe like this person wants you to wait and be patient even more but you are rolling your eyes at this person tell me more you have a seven of wands this person is guarded like you need to know so many things about a situation this person not telling you the truth you have the three of cups in reverse so this is the shady as hell you don't trust it this is what you're telling me here you don't trust the situation tell me more you have the ten of cups energy in reverse oh wow you have the ten of cups energy in reverse so you don't know about the future you don't know what it lies you don't know if this is going to work out you've been waiting for this person to change you've been waiting for your you know your wishes to come true you felt like when you met this person it was the 11 11 like you felt like this was your person you felt like this was your person a lot of you were seeing the 11 11 before you even met this person or when you were seeing them you know this this number kept coming up for you this number kept coming up squirps tell me more then you have the higher front so a lot of you are giving me vibe that you guys are married or you're planning to get married but this person either way is trying to work something out this person is coming off like a Taurus old-fashioned okay like they want to work this out but they don't know how to express their feelings towards you you're showing up as an empress or a queen energy definitely um a lot more mature than this person this is what i'm seeing here a lot more mature i feel like you're just ready 
and this person is just not look at that the nine of pentacles in reverse so all the nines came up in reverse for you even the future element like you're losing yourself and your identity within the situation this is why a decision has been made within a judgment okay final decision here this could be dealing with an Aries or a Libra like I said I even see a little bit of Sag on the side this is giving me Cupid bow arrow first love at first sight kind of vibe tell me more Holy Spirit you have Virgo here I don't know who's dealing with a Virgo Aries Virgo Scorpio look at this red rose oh my gosh coming back out I don't know if it came out before or I just feel like you've been getting this all day I felt like you got this in your last reading this person has a deep connection to you and love for you so I'm seeing like respect here as well something that I'm just getting something that you did or something that you experienced together like that will always be love for them like I'm just getting that vibe, y'all. Tell me more. Okay, so you have the Divine Calls Angel Raphael, number 777. So this is about love. It says here, emotional healing and love. Like something is being protected here. This is what I'm getting. This is your heart chakra. This is your desires of your heart yeah you guys are getting back together look at that blessed union no one can break never let me go again number 21 and it's a decision that is made and it's happening again so this is placed with not only a decision as you can see number 21 the judgment is number 20 okay and then you have this as number 21 so therefore one is the ace which is like movement this is being moved or this is being this is coming this is in motion okay take your time and heal though the angels want you to be reminded of that because a lot of you went through your fives or went through your adversities in life that you signed up for i feel like this is about a lot of the five that came up for you which was you know trying to always keep your place or fighting for your place or always someone being ahead of you or in front of you or stealing what you got going on this could also be emotional loss here like in the fives you were experiencing the five of cups energy a lot of you have the five of pentacles as well the stability okay um where it comes to financial money and gain i saw that too let me just dig it dig up for it okay so you had the five here this is in the upright this so this is still a constant situation that you're going to be experiencing a lot of you in the five of cups with an emotional loss i feel like you have experience what you need to experience from that situation and then you have the five of wands in reverse as well which you need to experience what you had to experience from that so i feel like that's in the past tense but the five of pentacles money situations is like still up and down for those of you so you need to be careful with that okay Ooh, my cards are on the other side thank you holy spirit for letting me see that <laughs> so let's see thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father all right, so we have, ooh, the dress, white dress. Ooh, this keeps coming up today. I don't know what this is, number six. And then you have com community and celebration. So a lot of you are going to renew your vows when you get back together, or I'm just seeing celebration here, just coming back together. This is your six. So this is a part of your soulmate. Like this person is, <laughs> this person, I said a part, but this person is showing up as your 1111. So someone that you just know that this person is going to be in your life you just know that you know this person like you just have this connection and you know i just feel like there are signs that is coming in for you that you and this person is going to be together and give it another shot so this is happening very soon i'm getting quickly because of all of this determination that's coming in here no contact the journey alone something about you right now that needs to be alone right now i just feel like you need to be a little bit wiser or see a new perspective and you need to have that button click like look at that the hermit and then you have journey alone 
you know so virgo energy you're trying to be smarter that's what i'm seeing here. you're trying to be more wiser um you're in the process of getting a lot of downloads here again this is about the l-o-v-e you guys red butterflies might be around you a lot or some kind of birds like birds i'm just seeing like red or colorful birds around you that is being shown this is just a sign look at that pink roses something to do with pink roses as well something to do with the color that vibrant color this person as you see these colors this person feelings are getting stronger because it says stronger personal feelings here gratitude appreciation grace happiness like you they're falling in they're crushing on you falling even more they're supposed to be getting over you but something is occurring here where this person is finding it hard to forget you and i'm seeing seven and then angel raphael is also coming up as a lot of sevens so pay attention for the sevens y'all a lot of sevens here in this read then you have i keep getting this too and yellow butterfly is always right behind red butterfly oh my gosh so listen to your intuition because this is also about intuition the yellow butterfly and also the visions and dreams obviously okay so it says here listen to your intuition within this hope energy and also a lot of you could be having dreams when you slumber um it says when you're in a you're having a deep call in this is occurring you have some kind of energy that has shown your purpose and but it's all through your intuition within the stars this is what i'm getting here hmm it's like you're supposed to help this person why am i seeing that i'm being guided to that like you're supposed to help this person this is also about your four your fulfillment, your happiness, your 1111. <laughs> the four is your 1111, y'all, okay? We also have balance that's coming back out for you, balance and truth, so there was some kind of lies with this one. The angels are saying, do not fear this. Choose love always within that five. This is another adversity that you picked up. This is another adversity that you picked up, the five of swords, okay? This could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with, or for some of you, this person has Aquarius within their chart. But this is a part of your contract within the six. Don't fear this. It says, don't fear the divine love. Don't fear what you're feeling, what you're going through. It's a higher spiritual energy that you can... It's like I'm seeing like you can't be around just normal people that goes to Sunday school. Forgive me, you guys, but... I'm seeing like you need to be around people that are very spiritual and that your that will be your understanding. This is another thing that you picked up, another five. It says play the game, play it right. If you're going to play the game, you're going to need to make right moves, okay? You're going to need to make right moves. Because this could be that, you know, you didn't walk away from the situation. You kind of embrace something here that was very un very negative okay and now you have to this is your move like now you have to continue this situation like i'm just getting like oh you could have walked away from this but you didn't and it could have been behind you but mm -hmm. you're seeking the truth scorpio you're seeking the truth and i'm seeing this energy of moving on okay if you're trying to move on here like you're moving on within this death number 13 start new moving forward even though people are trying to push you back and you're trying to stay focused you're trying to stay focused on what your goals are your dreams are but you're also trying to find out the truth here it's like you're a seeker you're coming awake or seeing a new perspective or seeing things in a whole new picture or <laughs> perspective like things that you never realized before now you're realizing it one more holy spirit 
This is going to be revealed to you. This is going to be revealed to you because you're looking. That is so crazy. I feel like you're going to get everything that you ever wanted here. You just have to be patient. This is what I'm picking up. You also have the Four of Cups here where a lot of you are just really waiting around for something. You're waiting around for this person to prove you wrong, even though you feel like you've been, this, been in this situation all by yourself. But the angels are saying, remember, through everything that you're going through with the jealousy, with the envy, just stay in a positive light because good karma shall always follow you, okay? Remember that. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Playfulness is also coming out here, so remember to smile. It's time. You've been way too serious and mopey for too long. You are winning. Why are you afraid? Like, why are you worried? Yes, there's a lot of negative energy. It says negative energy against you, but they can't win. They can't win. They won't win. Surround yourself with free energy. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And I'm not talking about the negative Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. I'm talking about the ones that are upright. We, we're, all zodiacs have up and down. Light and dark. Okay? So, you know... If someone is negative, that you need to stay far away from them. If someone is rolling their eyes when you look away, you need to stay away from them. So the angels are reminding you to be free. They're seeing that you're very like closed offish. I'm just getting a closed off energy, and they're reminding you to smile, minding you to be as the sun, minding you to be of service that way as well. Like, don't need to worry because you're always winning. You're so protected as well within the situation. I'm also picking up other people that might be factors here. And you are feeling so lonely. Tell me more. A lot of you want a baby. Or this person wants one with you. And I feel like a lot of you are like, this might just be a new start for us. But at the same time, you have so many things that you need to work out. Look at that. Divine of Fire. Again, it's like a very powerful card and this is showing up within your read. Focus on your 10 vibration because you're on a, a bigger journey than you ever thought that you were. And again, you're having a confirmation of good karma. Like you're highly valued. Mercy shall also always follow you. This is about your ancestors. I'm picking up your ancestors within this card because they've given you, like when they passed away, they've given you this blessing. And I talk about that with the energy deck as well because that 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 energy of being blessed overall and you have no idea. And these are things that you need to very much tap into spirituality to receive. And I'm just seeing like you're being told that you can tap into this energy because you are, you have good karma, okay? Don't worry about it. Your ancestors paid for this for you. Your hands needs to be pure and cleansed, all right? And if it's not, then you need to make it so. Because you're, you're a healer. You are led with love and nothing else. Wow, coffee energy here. So you have a choice to stay with this person or to leave. Oh, sorry, y'all. The card fell on the floor. So you have two soul ties and then you have the coffee energy. You know, I feel like when I look at that coffee energy, I do see like Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, um some even scorpio at times because of course it's based on an intimate aspect of energy but at the same time there is also a separation let me get that deck off the floor well that card i should say it says sexual con contrast your deep 
desires and temptation number two and this one says partnership deep love fighting to stay together two souls facing separation so <laughs> it's like I'm just seeing like a toxic vibration here but you're trying to get away but at the same time you're having a hard time to get away sorry you guys I'm trying to you're trying to get away but you're having a hard time here to get away from this person 12 12 on the clock it's not so 11 11 huh you're not feeling fulfilled like you thought you were going to feel fulfilled it's like I'm just getting like in the the beginning of the situation you felt so fulfilled and then you decided like throughout the experience of this relationship and all the five the adversities really put down your vibration but at the same time it's also to build you up because I'm seeing a lot of spiritual energy that's coming in for you so you're not forgotten for those of you who think you are but this is what i have for you i also see jealousy on the back of the deck and envy and who guess what number five again so this is something else that you picked up this is something else that your your contract is about for those of you who are always we we talk about contracts us reader but we don't really get into it well i know i don't <laughs> Cause that's a whole other video but there's some things that you're here to experience so jealousy for one and envy people that are trying to be you that's something that you needed to have under your belt but you do have someone that do care about you they're saying I love you to you more um, and they want to, to show this to you with the number eight strong feelings soulmate unbreakable contract again you have a lot of contract vibes here y'all mm -mm. 11 11 this right here let me know is a contract this is also let me know is a contract the two souls then you have what else you have coffee energy is saying sexual contract like oh how many things did you signed up for scorpio within this life and for those of you who are very spiritual you know what i'm talking about like your your contract within life like why are you here your purpose but this is what I have I'm gonna leave it here Scorpios I am gonna add a video of my deck okay in the review of it in the end of the video so um, if you haven't seen it go ahead and support the video all right show your love in the description well in the comment section and yeah because I did bring it out today and it wasn't shared on YouTube like YouTube did not send it out so I figured that I would just attach it to all the videos that I'm doing tonight so therefore you guys have the information and yeah love you guys and I will see you guys in your next one the next deck I will be working on is the angel deck you guys the one that I've been using the white deck I call it the white deck um, I don't know if that's gonna be the name of it but we'll see and I'll love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's the scene tarot and of course today is all about my deck that is available for purchase i wanted to make a video so everybody can be on the same page it is called the divine at the scene tarot okay or i should say by the seed tarot but i put at the scene tarot which is fine that's on my deck i wasn't was i was not going to put a name on my deck honestly but it is what it is and it explains a lot from when you use the deck because there is a lot of divine you know calls within this deck and when i was getting a call in you guys i remember i was using a deck and i don't know which one i was using because i have so many and i was like why is none of these oracle decks really you know talking about the divine or the divine love and and i was just like call to do that and i heard a voice like you need to make this and you need to call it the divine and, <laughs> and i was like okay god i'll i'll write it up i i i went on amazon the next day purchased some blank um papers write down everything that was coming in my head and this is it so here it is um first i wanted to order um actually to make a three by three i wanted a large card because you know you guys i have long fingers big hands and I hate the two by fours I really do it's a, a, just the original size for tarot and I just hate it is I think it's a two 
2.75.4.75. Ah, but I hate that. It's just so small. Okay, it's just so small. But anyway, I wanted to make one for you. I'm also making a tarot deck as well, you guys. So that will be in the making. But the next one is this deck right here. It's called and called the Angel Deck. Okay. Um, because there's just a lot of angel messages in it, right? So this one is was supposed to be a three by three, five by five, but of course, but the P the the fourteen PTS is the the bigger you make it, the thinner it feels. And fourteen PTS is exactly what this is. It's called what's the T? You can get this on Amazon. Um, they use the same print, and you can also get this at Amazon it's the same quality the same quality you guys as you can tell same quality with my deck here this is my deck okay the same quality the same thinness so that's what that is I just wanted to give you guys an example and you see this around a lot you see this around a lot these decks <laughs> but um, I don't have boxes yet, you guys, because I have to find the right company. I'm see I like I saw like they were doing boxes, but I didn't like the boxes. I want my box to be um, really well. And they only have boxes for like the regular size deck. I did see a three by five, but we'll see. We'll see. It's in the making. OK, for now, we're just going to do the shrink wrap. I hope that's OK for you guys. I will try to include a bag for you um, because this card is three by five. It's not three by three, five by five because I had to make it smaller because of the, the quality. I wanted it to be shuffle, you know, comfortable for you. I didn't want it to be too thin. So the smaller you go, the better it feels, okay, in the hands. So I went down a size. I went to three by five and it feels so much better you guys i'm so excited now your girl is still going to use this because this is just the proof that i needed to see the quality or whatever so i like it i like it so much but this is the outcome you guys this is the outcome of the deck i love the backsplash it's just peaceful no matter what you're going through no matter what you're pulling from this deck the black the backslash is just peaceful it's just nice it's just a lot of hope there and then of course in the cards you will have a lot of different messages and that's why i wanted the backslash to be so peaceful no matter what right so um another thing that i wanted to announce before i talk about the deck a little bit more further yes i will be doing the angel deck and this is the one that you guys have been like raving about like you want this deck so bad i don't know if it's going to be 100 um cards this time you guys because the more the cards the more expensive it is to print okay let me tell you let me tell you okay so um we'll see we'll see but i do want this not to be the the original size i want it to be a three by five so it will be the same size as this i cannot stand small cards like this i can't i mean it's, it's it doesn't look so small in my hands, but I don't like it. I don't like it, y'all. Um, I want it to be a three by five. So I will be printing out this for those of you who are wondering. All right. But I wanted to like pair the original size and my cards together. And you can see the difference. OK, let's just zoom in. As you can see here, it's just a little bigger, just a little bigger. You guys, of course, this is what a uh four four by almost a um almost a five almost five inches not quite okay so it's a little wider and it's a little longer my cards all right so <laughs> let's just get into what the cards look like because i know that's what you're going to be interested in for the packaging you guys you will be receiving a white bag like this all right um I do have other things that I want to put in there too. Um, so let me just show you something real quick. I have these. And it depends on the gifts that I'm going to put in there, but this is what I'm looking at. So let's just see here. Okay. Of course, the cards can't fit in here. This is a smaller pouch, 
but this is the bigger pouch and it's basically plastic you guys okay um, but I had like some gifts that I want to put in here as well for you guys I just don't want to give you the cards um, but this fits the cards, so most likely you would get this packaging and it actually has the foam inside as well to protect the cards so either one <laughs> all right they will all probably be in this bag honestly because i love giving away things let me just see if it fits yeah okay so you most likely will see this at your door okay but just wanted to share that with you guys all right so let's just get into the deck all right so 100 cards you guys okay like i said before clean cut round cut not a square cut because i just wanted a round because i do have some decks that it has square cuts and i, I kid you not paper cut everywhere you have to be very careful how you shuffle with this deck well not this deck with their deck but it's a round cut so it's safe okay the quality is very well made and it's also um, friendly to shuffle. I just love this and the colors. The work was really well. I, I can't I can't even fathom like how beautiful it came out. So a lot of these cards, you guys, is a very spiritual card. It's not you know about you. Yes, you have your your regret. You have your this. You have your that. You have your cheater. You have this, but it's mostly what you need to do what is around you spiritually when you're reading these cards like this is what's pulling out for the person okay like this cross for example very spiritual negative energy against you yes but they you're so protected within this energy you're so protected within the universe and you it's, it's all spiritual with the cross like everything is just so spiritual and guided for you they're saying that they can't win no matter what is against you you are so highly spiritual this card and, and i don't see a deck that has this so i wanted to make sure that this is one of the cards that are, are, are in this deck but i just wanted to share the butterflies for those of you who are so into butterflies okay this is what it is the divine you will see a lot of divine energy divine seeks you out okay <laughs> this was cute as well play the game play it right i i never saw something like that before so i wanted to include that footsteps you guys take your time to recovery walking towards peace with a divine love redemption forgiveness okay the divine of light if you guys are familiar with the tarot deck then you know that light is air air is you know gemini aquarius and libra energy but the divine of light is with an ace is definitely something that is going to overshadow everything that you're going through so say you're stuck within your reading like there's a lot of negative forces of energy and you pull this you know that you are going to have some form of breakthrough coming in it says a spiritual walk breakthrough right you have community celebration this could be friendships or family okay thinking of you or thinking about you yeah, then you have also have some angel numbers here as well you guys okay energy of earth you know what earth is and it also have capricorn virgo taurus here so it says stay stay in love with the earth and expand the universe i thought that was very interesting because that's why we're here to help the universe expand not even scientists can figure out why the universe is expanding it's all energy okay and it's a cycle we come back we come back we come back we come back and hope the universe expands <laughs> oh my god reaching out i thought this was very cute and it's a spark you know messy but can't help it kind of vibe yeah 
of course your angel numbers you guys i love incorporating angel numbers i love numbers so that's why i do a lot of numbers even my cards you guys has a lot of numbers on them so you take that for how you resonate with it um but you know it's just i just resonate with numbers a lot within my read okay and then you have roses wow you have peach roses as well you have the white dress okay you have this like marriage energy wow and also i incorporated another element of you know um scorpio cancer pisces the what am i what am i saying scorpio oops y'all i'm so ghetto not adding in that um the four elements okay uh water air um earth <laughs> and fire so this right here is a fire element and i don't know why i was so slow saying that but it's a fire element right here so this is what leo's energy within the strength so you can incorporate that with all three elements as well which is well all all three uh fire element okay so um leo Sag, sag aries why did i stumble but you get the idea okay whistleblower of course so famous whistleblower you know what that is fake people that does not need to be around your life or you just need to you know put them in a category anytime you want something to be spread around the neighborhood that's when you call upon them to you know act like you're cool with them and tell them what you want them to know <laughs> you have to play the game right if you're gonna play it right so use this person for what it is if you don't want to break ties with them but here's some butterflies and of course you have numbers again i also incorporated the tarot deck for those of you that are learning okay we have the nine of swords fear depression stress worry you have a lot of love here okay remember to love teach me something new okay no need to worry possibility you have your angels all showing up as well I incorporated some of the angels not all okay i believe i will be incorporating because i do have an angel deck and there are going to be a lot more angels here so um let's just keep it you know pg for the <laughs> for the beginners with this deck then you have the divine of fire and this is also an a so take this how you resonate with it huge force of movement is coming into your life this is like an ace this is exactly what it is an ace the ace of wands but the divine is pushing this the divine of fire talk about that strong force oh my god coming in no joke jealousy and envy you have the sun energy here as well i also incorporated the numbers for you for those of you who are learning fearless energy okay your third eye is open all right so you're definitely bold and spirited and brave within this energy right now mask energy as well divine of water ace okay and all the divines have ace on it because it's the last source it's 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 source it's it's god it's you know the the maker of everything so i wanted to make sure that he is or she is known as source as the ace all right okay fire energy you all aries leo and sag you have this tower looking energy but it's called fear change and it says tower movement backwards emotional pain emotional loss pain so this is a six um and incorporate that how you want to bless union no one can break never let me go again so obviously with this energy you guys know each other like this whoever when you pull this card you just know that this person been with this person once before attachment or codependency soulmate energy is also here water energy the woman in the lake scorpio cancer pisces beautiful energy okay mental and physical agony 10 if you know what this is it's the 10 of swords you guys number 10 focus two soul ties 12 12 okay no matter what you do this person is just behind you um it says relationship deep love 
well i'm sorry not relationships let me just go in so you guys can see it it says partnership deep love fighting to stay together two soul facing separation <laughs> but you know it's like no matter what you do you still end up back together on a certain path this is a lot of confusion here coming home to you okay Don't fear the divine love. You're being called for something special, you guys. I love you, Tia Moa. For those of you who know what Tia Moa is, it is I love you in Spanish. Okay? <laughs> All right. All right. So we have Apology, the white flower. If you guys are familiar with flowers like I am, I love flowers. They mean something. White flowers are purity, apology, sincerity, um, and you know the red flowers are obviously romantic okay and the numbers on the flowers mean something so 12 bouquet of red roses that's something that someone will buy all the time um white flowers you know six fla six um bouquet of white flowers so it's on the cards and it means something so just take it as it resonates but six for me is also contract you know six for me is that person that's supposed to be in your life so obviously someone keeps coming back and apologizing they are being forced not forced but they're being pulled back into your contract back into on the right path to be with you okay to be in your life the divine of earth ace and i like how i incorporated that element of for those of you who are still learning tarot and the elements and the signs this is another symbol of earth signs okay capricorn virgo taurus it's like similar to scorpio like water based energy because we flow we're like the waves but um the earth also has a similar energy to us so it's just so interesting and i just wanted to put that on there as well so everything on my deck is for a reason you guys then you have number 10 marriage your highest vibration you have um the journey alone meaning that you're going to receive a lot of information and a lot of divine downloads okay you're receiving that information you have angel michael here and i put angel michael of what angel michael is okay the heart shock was activated the third eye is activated and i put him as the great protector angel number 888 okay so if you're seeing a lot of eight like i was driving around with my friend the other day we were having dinner and we was in atlanta and she just like showed me a lot of number eights on these driver like license plate and i was like wow my deck angel michael is around you you know protecting you um and she's she i feel like you know what it's it's like she needs him right now in her life anyway she's feel like she's being attacked and she's just being very protected um with his energy around so yeah well, watch out for that 888 you guys i also included infinity forevermore so when you see this you know that you're gonna have a long lasting victory it's not going to be short-lived you're going to have yes trials and tribulations throughout it but whatever you want for yourself that will never be ripped apart from you because what's yours is yours look at that the divine victory as well okay so the divine something your you know your number six your contract the divine victory this was consoled it to you before you even got here this victory is yours before you even got here this was planned from the divine victory <laughs> this is in your contract you sign the dotted line so there is no point of like people taking that away from you because you can't i also included my my ex-fiance that um passed away um this is one of his pictures here he always you know wanted a baby <laughs> So I said, you're always, I've always wanted you to have my baby. And I put, you know, fresh start zero, 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 reset the clock here. So for those of you who don't know who he looks like, this is what he looked like. Um, his, I just love pulling his card, pulling the cards and seeing him. It's like, he's, you know, with me. I know he's with me all the time, but I just like that, like remind, like that memory of like that picture. But anyway then you have here huge ego of course you know this could be leo capricorn this could be scorpio for goodness sake 
<laughs> that is so egoistic. And I felt like this was so cute to use a child because that's how we act when we are in our ego. Like my ex, he was definitely someone that um, was very stubborn. He's a Leo. So, you know, and I'm a Leo moon. So could you imagine us? And then we put in here deceit number five you know what that is you know that devilish eyes you have movement here you have um break night with me you have coffee here for those of you who know what coffee is this could also be an addiction or it could also be sexual all right this could also be a temptation like you just you, know, you ever saw people that have coffee hunger like how crazy they can be without their coffee uh and they're just running to the line and they're just like oh my god you know like when they have that first sip oh thank you i'm so happy i need my coffee like they imagine so that's the energy of this card you know it says sexual contracts deep desires temptation this is like the lovers this is like the lovers this could be gemini energy for goodness sake okay this is forbidden fruit so obviously you know this was forbidden trickery um betrayal this person might be already taken as well on the car this could be gemini as well okay okay wild energy gemini aquarius and libra be free this is this is gemini's energy here okay then you have the divine calls angel raphael i put angel raphael as number 777 because i just feel like you know he's all about healing but he's also number two so um keep that in mind you guys so if you see number 27 number two you know you just know that angel Raphael is around you but 777 for me is a number that people always see or if you see 222 just know that angel Raphael is always around you okay but I incorporate a lot of twos in my deck as well. So you have number 12 here, the path of gold. And I wanted this because, you know, there's a lot of cards that have the path, temple of path, I believe it's called or something like that. But I wanted to make sure that when you pull this, you know that you're on the right path to your success and you're going to be okay. You know, yeah, it's great to have the victory that we pulled, right? because this is your contract but some people just want to know like do am i on the right path though i feel like my 11 11 is so off and once you pull this you just know yeah you're on the right path okay it says path to success riches fulfillment happiness and victory and i don't know when i made this deck i just felt like i was called to write that i was called to make this beautiful and i'm glad how it you know i'm just so happy how it came out with the art all right, so you have number 7716, which is the betrayal angel number. You guys, I I love angel numbers. And it's just funny how somebody is climbing up the ladder and you're being successful here, having that victory, and someone behind you is trying to betray you and you have no idea. No idea. You have spiritual healer, okay? Um, spiritual breakthrough. We have two of these, okay? So keep that in mind. Not quite the same, but this uh, like different i think it's the ace the ace of light that has that meaning as well as the breakthrough all right so if you will ha pull two of those you know you have a confirmation past life contracts is also this is a card where you're here you're here on this planet you had many lives before but in many universes is cosmic correction is cosmic part it's karma karmic partnerships is on un unbalanced energy like you're here to fix the past mistakes of your life that you lived once before okay um storm one is also coming in and i put massive changes because it is going to change your life but it's also giving you a warning to get ready for it the three of swords for those of you who knows this is also from the tarot deck um we have you're not alone and this hand reaching out for you and whatever that might mean for you um when you're reading it could be angels it could be your family members it could be someone that you love that want you to know that you're not alone within this situation you have let go let god okay number eight and you also have some fire energy here as well okay you have a necessary end in scorpios okay um number two we have number three the yellow rose as well jealousy and envy um 
and then you have angel number five two six when i pull this card you guys you guys tell me oh five two six i used to see this number all the time as well too when i had a lot of conflicts in my life and now that i don't i don't see it i kid you not but i remember when i was younger every time i look at my watch you know or i look at my phone five two six will come up five two six will come up and now i don't even see that anymore but i always carried this number with me and so remember you guys make yourself first it says self-confidence inner inner strength stand firmly trust yourself problem solving it's time to solve those problems all is well good karma and then i love this as well too it says good karma highly value valued and then it says mercy shall follow you and i wanted to incorporate this with the crown that um jesus had when he died on the cross right um because i felt like i was called spiritually like he was with me writing all this down so i couldn't change anything up really you know um i was just like guided to all of this so um then you have number 13 smile we will see each other again whatever that might mean for you if somebody has crossed over to the next level or maybe there was a breakup and you just thought that you know what because number 13 is what the death energy so you know it's it's death is also life you know so it's like you something have to die to live right um and it's like you're dying to live again you have to die to live again you have to die to go to the, the next vibration uh transition has to end it can't just keep going it has to end it has to go through some kind of sparrow like this section to end for something new for it to start with you and this person so whatever this might mean for you it could be a new start it could be that somebody passed away and they want you to be happy they want you to smile um, because you will see each other again so cheer up you know um that's what it means don't worry don't worry worry is a wasted emotion you're gonna see each other again whatever it, the situation might be you also have balance and truth is coming number six so do some yoga you know <laughs> do some you know exercises get your mind clear and get ready for that vibration this is also about your six so your contract so you know that this is going to linger within your life you know all right so you have the 11 11 gemini's energy twin flame and i also put lovers here and i put the gemini symbol face fear face your fears oh well it says well i'm i'm skipping it says let's face let's face your fears together okay um and i felt like exactly that's what a twin flame is okay to come into your life and teach you what you need to be taught shadow work trying to heal you from a lot of past trauma from your past lives okay all right so we have pink rose crushing on you we have your divine hears you so whatever you've been praying about for those of you you know that you're reading and somebody wants to know like yeah, do the divine hear me i've been praying i've been manifesting i've been asking this card pulls up of course of course but you can also feel it within the read as well okay you need help 444 we're all so small okay we're still babies all right to the divine love we're still so small we call out for a divine to our father all the time because we're still babies and it's okay it says still so small number 444 angel number so it's okay if you need help look at that there is someone over this beautiful um ice bear right the mother is standing over it you can tell but you do see her feet here okay <clears throat> you do see her nails her feet um the little hair is a little dark right now but i hope you guys can see that <clears throat> oh long lasting victory you're winning always a lot of you i feel like we had the game one with the basketball but i just wanted to include like two to confirm each other i love when cars confirm each other then you have angel gabrielle here dwell in the house of the, the divine angel message all right so continue to be successful continue to be good continue to lead with love if anything that's all that it means you know continue to lead with love continue to be of light C continue to choose the light okay vision and dream is also here for those of you number four vibration whatever that might means for you telepathic tel telepathic um gifts for those of you who are gifted and if you're watching this you are so um 
a new relationship number two this is a choice you don't have to okay but it's a choice then you have choose love not fear number five and this is air quality so you know you have the air symbol down here as well i included that then you have pretensters you know what that is number seven and i put that as number seven because anytime you are not sure about something and you're seeing that number seven look who you are around you know look who you are around the angels are really trying to show you something within that moment um and you know i feel like you know of course i titled angel raphael with number seven as well so it's like that angel is all about self-love um all about balance okay so if you're seeing all these numbers all the seven 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 at that moment pay attention to who you're surrounded with because it's not you know that angel is trying to protect you from certain things all right okay so this is basically your child hood you know energy coming out here it says playfulness it says freedom lightful youthful childful happy 21 and it's like you're just smiling you're just playing you're just running and acting like a child and you are a grown-ass person but you have that childish energy and it's in a positive way it's not like you're being like really you know demanding or stamping your feet you're just embracing the earth and you're just like enjoying the air you're just like enjoying life so remember to bring that back to you know your 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 energy personally you know um the protector this is archangels and also loved ones but um angel michael is the protector okay he is the leader of all angels so um if this is coming up you know that yeah he is around and giving you that confirmation your sweet lips kiss me on the roof something about a party on the roof something about a kiss on the roof um i also put ps a w a h i put vibration 10 this is the happiest moment of your life um you know and a h for me is always will and a well h w is always will and h h is always have so or this could be anything to you then we have overcoming number 10 high vibration moving moving on death number 13 i incorporated another a couple of deaths just so they can confirm each other you guys then you have judgment here number 20 you also have number 21 if you guys are good with the numbers then you know what it is okay then you have number 18 confirmation confusion excuse me i'm about to say confirmation confusion in the moon energy pisces energy but this is a hundred decks you guys and i can't believe this video is 34 minutes 34 minutes really oh my god but this is what i have this is my new deck i'm so excited if you guys want to purchase it just email me at the scene tarot at gmail.com the information should be in the below section of the video it is 55 dollars for this deck it is 10 dollars for shipping so that is 65 dollars you guys for the purchase and i wanted to get home safe to you um you know i'm using you i'm using the postal service so of course it's going to be priority so you need a tracking number and that's what you're paying for all right love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one and thank you guys for all your love and support this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you guys so it's here and now we have to work on this deck and i this is more than a hundred this is more than a hundred but i cannot make that print out more than a hundred because guess what the box is going to be difficult to make just like this one the reason why this one doesn't have any boxes because it's not 78 the the, the box for thir three by five is made for 78 cards not a hundred so girls guys okay i have to make my own boxes but i love you guys and i will see you guys in your next one thank you for all your love and support and i love you